Hello everyone and welcome to Kernel of Wisdom. I'm Joelle and today I'm talking about the three essential elements that make mindfulness helpful. Back in 2006, Shapiro, Carlson, Aston, and Friedman wrote a pretty awesome article called The Mechanics of Mindfulness. And what made it so awesome was that they investigated the stuff that makes mindfulness work. Want to know the secret? Well, it is three essential elements that work together to produce a really cool outcome. The first element is intention. Whatever intention we set influences the results that we're likely to see. For example, most beginning meditators set an intention of self-regulation. And so those are the results that most beginning meditators get. But later on in their practice, more intermediate meditators tend to set an intention of self-discovery. And so those are the outcomes they get. They start to figure out that through meditation once their intention shifts. So the moral of the story is to be very mindful about your intention because you get what you set. The second essential element is attention. Now attention doesn't mean that you're perfectly in control of your thoughts and your mind never wanders or anything like that. It simply means that we suspend our interpretation of what we notice and simply pay attention to what's going on. And the third essential element is attitude. And this is where John Kabat-Zinn's seven attitudes of mindfulness come in, which I have a whole series on here. But essentially with mindfulness meditation, it is so important that we look at our thoughts and our inner experience with an attitude of openness and curiosity. So what happens if we can embody all of these processes? What's the outcome? Well, Shapiro and friends suggest that a new process occurs called re-perceiving, which means we're able to disidentify from ourselves, from our inner experience. That means thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, all of it. This essentially allows us to step outside of ourselves and be more clear and objective with how we see ourselves. It's like when you have a friend and they're going through an experience and they don't know what to do. But for you, it's really clear because they just can't see their own blind spots. Well, reperceiving allows us to do that for ourselves. So if we're careful about our intention, what we pay attention to, and with what attitude we pay attention with, we can achieve the peace and clarity that we're looking for. Well, I hope this video has helped to explain how mindfulness works. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a note or post them in the comment box below. Do not forget to subscribe for more videos from Kernel of Wisdom. Have a great day and happy meditating. Bye.